The presidential election petition court has struck out petitions brought before it by two political parties and their presidential candidates in a marathon judgment that lasted several hours. The tribunal had started with dismissing the petition filed by the Allied People's Movement, APM, seeking the nullification of the election of President Bola Tinubu on the grounds of the alleged double nomination of the vice presidential candidate. The presidential election petitions court also ruled that the Labour Party, LP, and its presidential candidate Pitobi failed to specify how this caught the majority of lawful votes in the February 25th presidential election. Here's the report. Outside the premises of the Court of Appeal, which hosted the presidential election petition court, the tension is palpable. Different groups are standing in solidarity with the gladiators in the courtroom. In the courtroom, different petitioners have waited for this moment and are patiently awaiting for the justices to wade through the several petitions before them. Delivering judgment in the petition brought before the court by the Allied People's Movement, Justice Haruna Samani, the chairman of the five-member panel, held that the issue of qualification or disqualification should have gone to the Federal High Court at the pre-hearing session. He therefore ruled that the petitioners had no locus standi to challenge the nomination of a candidate by his party. Meanwhile, the tribunal ruled that the all-progressive Congress lacked the local standee to challenge Peter Obi's membership of the Labour Party. In the late judgment on the issue, Justice Abba Belo Muhammad held that the matter was solely an internal affair of the political party. The tribunal in turn dismissed the petition of the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi, alleging irregularities, suppression of votes and corrupt practices that robbed them of votes, especially in Rivers, Benue, Lagos, Taraba, Imo and Oshun states. In the lead judgment, read by Justice Muhammad, the court held that the petitioners failed to specify how they scored the majority of lawful votes in the February 25 presidential election pointing out that they failed to specify the polling units affected. The various rulings continue to be reeled out, a significant judgment being the striking out of three of 13 witnesses of the Labour Party, which were filed against provisions of the law. Reading the main judgment on the petition filed by Peter Obi and the Labour Party, Justice Samani held that the witness statements were incompetent, having been made in breach of the first schedule of the Electoral Act 2022. The Presidential Election Petitions Court also dismissed the claim of the Labour Party and Peter Obi, seeking to disqualify Bola Tinumbu over the forfeiture of a sum of $460,000 in a U.S. court. Justice Samani held that the petitioners failed to prove that the case was criminal in nature, as Tinumbu was neither arraigned nor did he take a plea, nor was a sentence of imprisonment imposed on him. A clearer picture is beginning to emerge as the justices wade through the myriad of petitions brought before the court. Kendi Amodu, Trust TV News, Abuja.